again, saints, TIs, God's mounted patrol, regulators, mount up. Uh, this is continuation from the first one, because uh, I can only talk for 15 minutes now. What? So hard for me to cut it out. Remember this? Cut it out. All right. A lot of old flashbacks coming back. Anyway, it is 1032, April 8, 2017. The Lord has been giving me confo. If y'all just heard, I had a dream that the uh, German shepherd representing the good shepherd, Jesus, handed me the ball, meaning telling me that I'm going to be a shepherd. Okay. Then I asked the Lord for confirmation. Are you telling me I'm going to be a priest? Um, I got confirmation from the neighbor as long as well as several other people that are called by the Lord that I'm supposed to be a leader in God in the new in God's kingdom. And I asked the Lord, though, for confirmation. It's nice to get confirmation from people, but the Lord has to tell you that. And then he'll give you, you know, heads up throughout, you know, other signs and other people and stuff. So he actually, normally what I do is I just open the Bible and I go like this. I shut my eyes. I know it sounds goofy, but I've always done this. And I'll just point and wherever I point is actually relevant for either the question I'm asking or what the Lord wants me to know for that day or to tell others to share with y'all. However, today he didn't do that. Today, after I asked a specific question, am I hearing you right? Am I going to be a shepherd? Am I going to be a priest, priestess, whatever you want to call it, in the new kingdom, in new Jerusalem? And he said, Open the Bible and keep flipping to the back until I tell you to stop. That's the directions I got. And I was towards the middle of the Bible. So I just kept flipping a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Till I got to First Peter. And I, I'm not looking. I had my eyes shut. And then the Lord guided my hand like this. You know, I went like this to the top of the page and stopped right there. And this is exactly what it stopped on. First Peter 2. Nine, <clears throat> but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, y'all. Can't make this stuff up. A holy nation, a pe peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which have not obtain mercy but now have obtained mercy and what i feel that says is yes not only did he confirm that i'm going to be a priest in the new but that when he said we were once not a people to me it means we weren't people we were angels and we've come back down on this earth to battle at the end of days um also i know that a third of of um the angels were taken by Satan. They willingly fell. However, there's also angels that were drugged down with him that did not want to go against their will. They're not supposed to be here. And I think that's us. And the Lord is coming back for us. Or it could be, I'm not sure on this. I'm just going by what I'm thinking. But it could also mean that we were chosen by God to come back and battle in the end of days. Y'all tell me if y'all get any revelation on that. Okay, then the next thing the Lord told me after that was I specifically asked him again, am I going to be, I wrote this down so I could say it exactly what I asked. I said, Lord, am I going to be present here on the earth, a priest on this earth, or am I going up to New Jerusalem? And he led me to look at the time, and I kid you not, the time was 923. Not kidding. There's the 923 again. September 23rd? Or is this God's calendar, which would be, I don't know when the Hebrew calendar is two months behind. So July? June or July? And I keep being told June, June over and over. So I don't know, but I, all I'm putting forth out there is that I got 923 was the time, and I hadn't looked at the time since I got up. All right. Then he told me specifically, after I was told to look at the time, and it was 923, I asked, am I going to be a priest here on this earth, or am I going up to New Jerusalem? 
And I'm feeling new. We're going to go up and train, but then New Jerusalem is going to be coming down. And that's what I keep seeing. And the Lord specifically told me this doesn't happen this often, y'all. It's been happening more frequently lately. But nine times out of 10, I just open the Bible and point. Every once in a while, he'll tell me a specific page. And that's what he did with us. So I know it's important. He told me page 1444. And again, 144,000. And my eyes went right to this. There shall be a very great valley. Half of the mountain shall remove toward the north, again with the north, and half of it toward the south. And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains, for the valley of mountains shall reach into Azalea, and ye shall flee as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Israela, Israela, Azela, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Israeli, <laughs> king of Judah. And the Lord my God shall come and all the saints with thee. So what this is telling me is that, yes, we've done this before. Uh, we're going to go up to God's holy mountain, which is New Jerusalem. Okay. Um, also, how he was telling me about flee toward a uh, mountain shall remove towards the north. I keep being told north. Again, I'm going to show you all this bag the Lord had me get the other day. And I didn't notice what it said. I thought it was just some random letters and numbers. And then he showed me to look at it last night and see right there, port number eight, Norfolk. And again, I keep getting Norway, Northway, Norfolk. So North. So I, I think that represents God's kingdom. Okay. Now, oh, and by the way, y'all are probably going, well, if she can buy a bag and buy that necklace, why wouldn't she buy a pair of glasses? Hello. I did. I bought some. I got like a special um, deal online two weeks ago. They were supposed to be here a week ago. They still haven't showed. So every day I keep thinking, oh, they'll be in the mail. No, they're not. So now I'm going to have to break down and go buy some because they tamper with my mail, y'all. Targets, you know what I'm talking about. If I get my mail at all, which is about half the time my mail shows up, but I just keep praying it's going to show up. And I, I buy just like a few cheap things. Like I got a uh, deal on the glasses for five bucks. So I bought them online instead of paying 10 or 15 in the store. Um, anyway, uh, they tamper with my mail. And they will actually go to the extent of opening my mail or a package or whatever I get. And they don't even bother sealing it anymore. One time it even came with a fist mark. It looked like an actual fist punched in the top of it. I'm not kidding. So that's why I haven't bought glasses. But now both sides are broken. So I'm going to have to go ahead and spring for some glasses. Because I guess the other ones aren't coming. Okay. Then uh, when I was asking the Lord, when, Lord? I kid you not, someone went by outside and the song, the waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> he uses songs with me, y'all. It's, it's hilarious. Okay. Then I wanted to tell y'all that in one of my other videos, I don't know if I told this in the last video, they did something with my eyes. My eyes are, they're hazel and they'll be like green or sometimes they're even like a gold color, not yellow, but gold. And sometimes they're brown and sometimes they're even blue. However, see, they do not have slits in them. Hopefully they don't do this to this video too. In one of my videos, I noticed, and maybe other ones, I only saw, I only looked at one old video from yesterday. They made my eyes look like reptilian eyes. They made them look like slits. I'm not a reptilian, y'all, just so you know. Okay, so then let's see what else cool happened. Oh, also with my Wi-Fi, uh, here's another thing they've been doing. I've got Wi-Fi router, and it's got a special name for me. They've somehow done something, and now there's two names, and I can't click on the one that's actually mine in capitals. I have to click on the one in little letters. So they're doing all kinds of stuff. They're doing stuff with my channel to where um, mostly like nine out of 10 people that are able to actually make comments 
are not of the Lord and they're actually the enemy. And I know that y'all, but I'm responding anyway, because I feel like if y'all are of the enemy and you're attacking me, the Lord has you on my channel for some reason. And guess what? The fact that they're putting all this effort into doing all this stuff to me and other believers uh, that are on like Sarah Forth calling, she said they did something to her eyelids and made her look like she had two sets of eyes, which I saw a demon in real life like that before. Uh, but anyway, for them to be doing all that shows that I am a threat to Satan's kingdom, as are all the saints, as are T.I.'s. Look how many people it takes to attack one little old you, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Because we're going to kick their aces. All right. So then the Lord led me to, this is hilarious. He led me, well, I'll do that in the next video. I'll end it with this. Because he led me to this funny cartoon. I'll do that in the next video. I'll end it with this and just let y'all know we're going up very, very soon. And you better mount up. Regulators. Regulate any stealing of this property. We're damn good, too. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel. That's us on our horses, regulators, saints. That's us. Mount up. By the way, me and sis Karen were talking about it. We both love motorcycles. Isn't that funny? Maybe we'll get to ride motorcycles too. Woohoo! All right. I'm out. God bless y'all. One more video coming up.